Hello again, welcome to another edition of The Real Ale Guide. What a funny, funny world we live in. I was due to review this today. It's Wells Bombardier Burning Gold. Really looking forward to trying this. I checked my emails this afternoon before I go live. Got a fantastic contact at Wells and Young's. Just gonna try and get this bottle cap to. There you go. Drink of England. Fantastic contact at Wells and Young's. Basically, um, they've made a fantastic advert for the TV, which they're very, very proud of. Um, it is Wednesday today. The TV advert is going out live on Tuesday. Um, the YouTube is going on YouTube first, I believe, either tomorrow, Thursday, or or Friday. But they're sending me the advert before before it gets released um, to show on Facebook and Twitter. So I got like a kind of exclusive for. Wells and Young's new t television advert, so I'm very, very proud of that. It's very, very good that, that I get to show all my beer loving people um, Wells and Young's new advert before kind of anybody else gets to see it. So I'm very, very pleased, very, very pleased to be able to to do that for them. Okay, let's get back to the beer. Let's get it open. Wow, plenty of smoke on that one, as uh, a couple of beer reviews would say. I can smell the aroma from here. It's in a clear bottle, I hope it evades the old um, nasty skunk. I hope it's a good beer, good durable hop in here, which will be able to evade the nasty skunkiness that sometimes affects beers in a clear or green bottle. Lovely head to the beer. Very, very nice, clean, crisp, golden amber coloured beer. It looks absolutely great. Look at that. Very clear beer. Plenty of car pardon me, plenty of carbonation going on. There you go. Get the aroma. It smells like one of those ale cr cross lager beers. It smells like a classic golden ale. Proper summer drink. You've probably tried Wells Bombardier, the the dark, fantastically tasting. I love I love Bombardier. Um, their dark beer. This is their probably their summer variant, I imagine. So yeah, it's quite light in the aroma. Let's dig in. Not bad. That's that's a good beer. I'm getting hints of very very slight hints of caramel in there. Very very slight. But they couldn't have used chocolate malts in there. But I'm getting a good caramel or something not good. A slight caramel taste first off. Sweet malt going on. It's grapefruity, slightly grapefruity and lemony. Not, you know, it's not one of them. It's definitely not a pale ale where it's, it's dominant flavours of the grapefruit. It's very slight. Nice. I 
Also, the drinkability on this is very good. I give I'm gonna give I give very very good marks to the clarity of this beer. Very very good marks on that. It is slightly different. It's a slightly different look from what I'm seeing. What you're seeing in the camera is slightly darker than what I'm getting. Let's get a, give it a read on a bottle. Inspired by William Blake's Jerusalem. This is a lively, refreshing golden ale, alive with English passion. There you go. I never, I never read the bottles before the review. <coughs> Hand me. Um, yes, described as a gold nail. There you go. Wells, brewers since 1876. Now, those of you who don't know, Wells and Youngs brew at the same site. And I'm trying to think of the name of... In Bedford. It's brewed and bottled in Bedford. But they're two separate companies still working together, kind of like the coalition government in this in this uh, in this country, where you got uh, the Lib Dems and the Conservatives. So where they they're kind of working together, but they're two separate parties. They're both sharing Downing Street. That's probably the best way to describe this. They're both kind of sharing the same brewery. So, um, like Wells don't own seventy percent of Youngs, or Youngs in the, Youngs don't own. 75% of Wells. They're both still independent, separate businesses, but they brew in the same place. Um, it must be great, actually, because they probably bang together different ideas for different beers. Uh, right, here we go. A precious blend of the finest malts, hops, and natural mineral water. Now, Wells and Youngs have their own site where they bring the water. Sorry, they've got a well on the site of the Wells and Young's Brewery and they bring the water up and use the beer from on the site which is absolutely great. Um, the water and the water produces an instantly refreshing beer. Zesty aromas awaken the senses leading to a dry crisp flavour. Yeah it is dry and it is crisp with more than a hint of citrus. I got I, I got a hint of citrus to be to be totally fair I got a hint of citrus it wasn't it wasn't tight like like a big pale ale or a, or a big IPA where you get plenty of citrus taste going on. Uh, citrus on the palate and a smooth lasting finish. <laughs> ingredients, water, malted barley, hops and yeast. Just them ingredients. None of this popsy McLagers where you've got all kinds of different ingredients. Um, nylons in lagers. Oh, why would you want to drink nylon? Um, there's all sorts of terrible, terrible things in these mass-produced lagers. I love it. I'm going to read it again. This beer is brewed with water, malted barley, hops and yeast. Finito. Finished. That's all. And it's good for you. Plenty of vitamin B in beer. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm in the mood to go on one. Let's go on one. People go on about beer bellies and people go on about, oh, beer, you put on loads of weight with beer. Uh, you end up, you put two stone on. It's all a load of rubbish. It's your mind. It's your mind. The trouble is, because I'm the worst for it, you go out, you drink four pints, you go home, you go to bed, that's fine. Take a glass of water to bed, that's fine. Now me, it's a constant battle. I'll go out and drink four pints. I want to go and get a kebab. Or I want to go and get a sausage and batter and chips or pizza or, or a McDonald's or a Chinese. There's no doubt that beer gives you the mun munchies. It gives you the, the munchies big time. As long as you can say no, I'm not interested. <laughs> I, I've eaten my food, five o'clock, whatever, whatever you have, whatever time you have your tea. I'm not going to starve. If I go to sleep tonight, I'm not going to starve to death. I'm not going to wake up in the middle of the night. Oh, you know, I, I, I'm going to wake up in the morning. I'm going to be fine. I'm not going to be a starving. It's your mind. Tell yourself. 
I'm drinking these few beers and I'm going home. I'm going to stop ranting, I'm going to get back to the beer. So just to end matters, beer can give you a beer belly and it can put weight on. But that's only because what it, I think it, it, it's kind of a big battle that goes on after a few beers. If you can say no, and if you can balance it right, then no, you don't put weight on with beer. Natural ingredients. It's what it does to your mind that uh, you've got to fight. Okay, I think I'm going to give this a rating now. Thanks for listening to my rants. There is not a hint of skunkiness in this beer. It hasn't been affected by the light at all. I've had this beer in my cupboard for a few months and there's plenty of light in my kitchen certain times of the day. It's in a clear bottle but I didn't get a hint of skunkiness. There you go, and it's their burning gold. Rating. Very, very good beer. Sessionable, yes. Would I like to taste it on cask? Hell yes. Because I've been to Wells and Young's Brewery, I know that their beer tastes another notch better on cask. I was drinking the beer with the head brewer, Jim Robinson, or Robertson, if, I, if you don't want me saying. And it was, the Courage Directors was absolutely fantastic. So, for this beer, I'd love to try it on cask, but in the bottle, it gets a 7 out of 10. It's a good beer. Thanks for watching the Real Ale Guide. You can email me at realaleguide at googlemail.com. Facebook is www.facebook.com forward slash realalecraftbeer. And Twitter is www.twitter.com forward slash realaletoday. Thanks for watching. It's nearly 13 minutes long. I apologise for ranting. Bye for now.